What's up you guys? So we are back and I just pulled off this main strip here. We are in the heart of Damascus, Oregon, in a little town right here. But right behind me, if you guys can vaguely see, right here is a candle. I believe it's about 22 feet tall and it marks the celebration of Oregon, the 100th celebration um, event that was held here. And at one point this was actually made of real wax. Let's go up here and check it out. I'm excited. With the flag blazing in the wind there. This is the 100th celebration candle which marks Oregon's well, we're going to go up here and take a look and read the plaque so you guys can get the official word. But this, like I said, is right here in the heart of downtown Damascus, Oregon. So let's check it out. All right, so without getting too much of a shadow on here, this says the Damascus candle. Before you stands a life-size replica of a candle that stood here in 1955 to commemorate the Oregon Centennial, Governor Mark Hatfield, who later became a U.S. Senator, attended the celebration. The wax for the candle was collected by school children from around the state and then sent to Damascus to make the candle. The candle burned for 100 days and nights to represent the 100 years of statehood. This replica was placed here in 1961. If you look towards the top, you can see the resemblance of wax dripping, drippings which states right up top there. They've got it decked out with some Christmas lights because it was just recently the holiday. But if you can look up top there, there's some real wax. The sign states this is a replica, but I will pull up some footage of some older pictures too that I was able to find online of the old candle, the original one. And I believe this was moved here, not too far from here, the original candle like I said, being made of actual wax. So pretty cool. And like I said, it sits just right here in the heart of Oregon. I believe, like I said too, I looked up online and it stands about 22 feet tall from the, from the flame down to the base there, all the way up top. Pretty cool. So the original candle was actually moved here from a, a different location and I will try and do my best to leave some either screenshots during this video or in the description of the original candle which was actually made of entirely of wax from the uh, school children around the area. They actually collected the wax to build the giant candle originally and now unfortunately it burned out but after 100 days and 100 nights of burning the town decided, look, we need this as a, a memento for the 100th year celebration. Nailed it. That's nice. That's a 57 Chevy right there. That's beautiful. Classic car alert. Is that 57? Oh, it's beautiful. If you get it right, you would have won the car. Really? Darn it. Maybe Maybe next time I'll, I'll wear a disguise and try again. I'll drive a different car. <laughs> have a good one, bro. Absolutely gorgeous. It's purring like a kitten, too. Turn it up. Don't take that picture near the police station. <laughs>
He gave it a little gas for us. Did you hear that? I'm gonna go inside New Seasons Market here and grab a little, little bit of lunch, a little bit of a snack. They've got a great deli here. All right, so we are back. We stopped off to grab a little bite to eat. Oh, by the way, I'm with Mama Creeper. She's enjoying her noodles. And we just left the New Seasons, which is a market out here. I actually used to work for these guys. It's a, like a natural grocer. I picked up some falafel with some tahini sauce, which is incredibly good. If you guys have ever had falafel, got to try it. And Mama Creeper went with the noodle bar and got some, mm. what'd you get, some beef mm -hmm. with the yakisobi noodles. Ooh, that looks good beef. with the sun mm, shining so down. Good. That beef looks good. It's delicious. So we're gonna just sit here. We're just posted up in the car. There wasn't really much places to sit. So we're just here at the parking lot enjoying our food. On a nice day. On a neat, really nice day. So stay tuned. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to show you. These are really good. I just picked up this seltzer. I'm trying not to drink as much soda. Well, not really. I just, I kind of lie. I picked this up because it looked good, but I, but it is good because it's just a pure, like a seltzer water, orange vanilla. Not that much sugar and uh, probably a little bit better for me. Anyways, that's our lunch for the day. So what you do is you grab one of the falafels here and this is called tahini sauce which is way good. You dip a little bit in there like so without making a huge mess. And then you... Mmm. I'm not even quite sure what tahini is or even falafel. But it's good. I think it's garbanzo bean. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't tried it so I don't know. But it's way good. You want to try it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, it's pretty funny that I got this without even knowing what it is. I've had falafel before, but what it is exactly is garbanzo beans, fava beans, cilantro, parsley, onion, garlic, salt, baking powder, tahini sauce, garlic, and water. So, the tahini sauce very, I know, isn't that good? It says made here in the Northwest, too, in Tualatin, Oregon. Uh, Traza. They're kind of dry. Fine. Oh, Lebanese, not Greek. Mm -hmm. They're kind of dry without the sauce, but it's pretty darn good, though. I recommend these if you guys can get them where you're at or you are here in Oregon. Pretty darn good. Pie. Mm -hmm. And it's good. She changed her mind. She said she didn't like it, but now she mm -hmm. wants the last one. Should I eat it? <laughs> no, you can have it. was that? Guy just ran over this plastic bag. Thought it popped his tire. Check out this mural. Top to bottom, another beautiful piece here. In fact, we've seen this guy's work before. I just saw the Instagram page. It said at Plastic Birdie, which I'll leave his link next time, but this is beautiful right here off of 82nd. Very cool. I love those birds. And all those trees, man, that's really cool. That's definitely very Oregon vibes. All the way down. Very cool. Here's his uh, Instagram right here. Just a beautiful piece. Wow, what a fun day. It was cool seeing that huge roadside candle. Pretty impressive. And the weather actually turned out pretty darn nice. Ended up being a good day. Appreciate you guys as always for creeping with. Make sure you guys ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep with. You can also hit that subscribe down below there. If you haven't done so, that officially makes you a creeper. 
and also give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video and also i'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section until next time creeper out for now peace